Now, before we move forward, um, the subject that we're talking about is what offer and what traffic source shall we start with, okay? So as per your question, sir, I, if I want to start promoting the CPA offers, what's the best way to start? I mean, is it through FB ads or Bing or from Reddit first, okay? Now, first off, um, let's talk about CPA offers, okay? Correct? Okay. Now, understand this. Uh, there are thousands of CPA offers, right? Correct? Uh, now, let's say A, A, there are thousands of CPA offers. B, every CPA offer has their own requirement. Every CPA offer has their own requirement. Has their own requirement. C, uh, some offers allow social traffic, let's say FB ads. If, if they say Facebook, that means they allow social traffic and you can use FB ads on those offers, on those offers. But they do not allow search traffic. Now search traffic is the main traffic, right? Okay. okay. Uh, some offers allow, some offers allow Bing traffic that is called search traffic okay search traffic or ppc traffic ppc so okay. if you see uh in the allowed section of any cpa network that says ppc or search that means you can use bing to run the traffic to that offer if you see social and bing both if social and ppc both you can use both the traffic methods okay okay now okay. it's uh, now what you want to start with when you say what you wanna start with okay so this uh it depends it depends on the kind of offer you're promoting kind of offer you are promoting now understand uh if you try to promote if you try to promote biz op offer on facebook facebook your ad your ad will not be approved, okay? Okay. Because Facebook does not like BizOp offers. Now there are tons of e-com offers as well. This is F A B C D E F. Okay. Now there are tons of uh, BizOp offers, okay? In like e-com offers e-com offers present in an affiliate CPA network, right? Correct? Okay. So, okay. If you, so if you wanna run, if you wanna run, if you wanna run FB ads, okay? So you can run those e-com offers using FB ads and FB ads, FB ads loves E com and Shopify type of offers, okay? Okay. Shopify type of offers, type of offers. Again, um, you let's say you want to run biz op offers, biz op offers, okay? Offers. The best place, the best place for biz op offers is paying profit. Okay, Bing traffic. Okay. Okay. okay, now there's one thing I want to uh, let you know about Bing ads traffic. Okay, uh, Bing ads traffic is the most high quality, is let's say the only, the only high quality traffic. Okay, it's zero okay. bot traffic. Okay, okay. Uh, if you're running traffic, if you are running traffic you can you can only expect to get to get real humans and targeted visitors targeted visitors uh, even if you even if your your campaign your campaign is not targeted campaign is not targeted is not targeted targeted you can expect 
real human clicking your ads. Real human. Okay? Human okay. clicking your ads. You need to know this algorithm, you know? This is really important, right? Because you should be, when you jump in water, correct? Don't you think you will only jump, uh, uh, at, at least before, you will jump in the water, but before jumping, you will make sure that how deep is that water, right? Yes, sir. Correct. At least, at least, even if you won't uh, measure how deep it is, at least you would have a minimum uh, estimate that this water is 10 feet deep, 20 feet deep, or maybe 100 feet deep, right? Correct. Yes, sir. Correct. If you're jumping in an ocean, you you would need to make sure that okay, I can swim in the water. I'm the best swimmer. I know Facebook ads. I know Bing ads. I know how to deal with it. But you will make sure that there are no sharks in the water, or maybe maybe alligators, right? Or maybe yes, crocodiles, right? Or maybe maybe in, even if there are no crocodiles or or uh, sharks, you need to still make sure that there there are no poisonous or poisonous species or poisonous other organisms there, right? Correct. Yes, so so yes, Facebook ads is just like that ocean, okay? Like internet marketing, World Wide Web is just like that ocean, okay? You need to know everything before you jump in it, before you jump in the Facebook ads ocean, before you jump in the big ads ocean, right? Otherwise, those crabs will get you. Otherwise, those poisonous things will get you, okay? And that's not, that's no fun. When you lose money and when you don't get ROI. So you need to know these things, right? Again, uh, so people don't understand these things. Mindset is an important factor, Gurminder, okay? You cannot know Facebook ads and just run it. Right, you cannot know a few things and just do it. Right, you need to have a proper mindset. Right, let's say if you're mm -hmm. if you're jumping from the sky, you must have a proper mindset before jumping. Right, correct. Yes. If something yes. goes wrong, you, you will you will fall. Right, if, if even if you have a parachute, if you're not able to open that parachute at the right time, who's going to die? Right. So mindset is important because because internet marketing is just about making money online. If you, if you're not able to make money online, you will lose that money. Right, so losing that money is just like losing that life, right? Correct. Yes. So, yes, sir. Again, in the same way, if you're running traffic, you can only expect to get real human and target the visitors when you're running Bing ads traffic. Okay, Bing ads get some. Uh, Bing ads, Bing ads uh, gets expensive at times. At times when you are testing an offer, when you are testing an offer. Okay. Okay. Uh, but but it's real people, real people clicking your ads, clicking your ads, your ads. Okay, so what's the other way around to to, to actually make sure you if you're spending, let's say, if you're paying fifty cents per click, okay, zero point fifty cents per click per click. Okay, so what is the other way around? Okay, the best way is to test an offer. Okay, let's say um, test an offer. Okay, offer. With direct linking, okay. with direct linking, with with a fixed budget, let's say you should all, you should have a minimum budget of twenty five dollar, okay? So you so twenty you can call this twenty five dollar testing, okay? Direct. So okay. for testing any offer, you should not spend more than twenty five dollars, okay? So it could be either okay. five days or it could uh, five days at five dollar per day, five dollar per day, or it could be either. Uh, for ten dollar per day, whatever. Okay, so the max you can spend is like thirty, no more than thirty dollars for just testing an offer. Okay, an offer. Correct. If that offer converts, that means it's a converting offer. Converts. It is a converting offer. Okay. If it does not convert, does not convert within thirty dollars span. Okay. Okay. Move to new offer. Move to the other offer. Other offer. Okay. Now people think, okay, they're losing money in testing. It's not losing money, okay? Uh, when you're learning in my coaching, I will guide you on how to find the right keywords, how to use the data that you receive for those, those thirty dollars. So, so that data, that data, helps you, helps you in analyzing your Bing ads pitfalls, pitfalls, right? Pitfalls, pitfalls, and as soon as you, okay, that is you are able to figure out your winning CPA offer, your winning CPA offer, you can make your money back. 
You can make yes, your yes. money back, right? You can make your money back, make your money back, okay? But what I would suggest is like even better, even better plan, okay? okay? I don't want to make this session a Bing session because we're going to have a focus Bing ad session uh, separate, but I am just giving you the idea here. So the best way is to make a uh, funnel, okay? I'm pretty sure that, that you know how to make funnels, right? And with my yes. strategy, you will even make a better, right? So make a funnel, yes. make, make a landing page, make a opt-in page, right? Opt-in page, okay? Uh, make a thank you page, thank you page, right? Correct, okay? Uh, connect this uh, with an autoresponder in between, right? Autoresponder, right? Responder, okay. correct. So that way you're at least collecting leads in this part, right? Even if you're spending like 30 cents, you're, and if the offer is not converting, you can still have collect leads right here uh, between yeah. the opt-in page and the thank you page. And, it, and you can also monetize this thank you page, right? Obviously you can put offers here, you can put on the thank you page. Okay, you will receive, you will, thanks for opting in. Thanks for opting in, for opting in. You will receive an email and, email in about uh, uh, whatever 10 minutes check your spam check your spam you can put put a text like this okay and then uh, and then at the bottom of your thank you page at the bottom bottom of your thank you page thank you page you can put other CP relevant relevant CPA offer banners banners right correct to to up right Right, and that way, what you're doing here, you're actually monetizing your thank you page, right? This way, correct? Yes, sir. So that means you're maximizing your click, even if you're paying 50 cents per click, you're collecting a lead, okay? And even if that lead does not convert immediately, you're, you're still monetizing your thank you page, and, and that is your asset, right? Correct? Obviously, yes, some people are going to click banners, let's say if you collect 100 leads if you send let's say 1000 clicks and if you collect 100 leads out of that obviously some people are going to click the banner on the thank you page and they're going to opt into that cpa offer and you will make money there right correct and even if, if, they, if, if for those people that do not click that thank you page okay they will you will still have their leads right so you can uh, you can broadcast them right a, a new email obviously you uh, in a, this you will set up, you need to also set up an email autoresponder, right? Email sequence, right? Correct. So that way, when you have that email sequence set up, obviously they're going to get, uh, and this email sequence will contain, will contain the CP offers, contain the, the first emails of this email sequence, let's say. The first emails of this email sequence will contain, will contain uh, the, CPA offer you were promoting on the on the on the planning page for this offer. Let's say let's call it offer X, right? Let's call okay. this as landing page X, opting page X, right? Correct. So that way, uh, the first emails, right? So that way, they would either be converting from your email. So what are you doing here? You're actually number one. Uh, so benefit one, benefit one of a funnel of a CPA. Funnel for every unique offer you promote. Unique offer you promote. You promote. Okay. So benefit one, benefit one. You are monetizing, monetizing your thank you page, right? So first off, you're collecting a lead. Let's say you are you are collecting. A lead right so even if you're paying one dollar per per click you still happen you're collecting leads right correct yes a benefit to benefit to you are uh, monetizing your thank you page thank you page benefit free you are monetizing your email sequence right sequence correct so yes. so once you have this funnel the only thing you can focus on is simply sending traffic. Simply sending traffic, traffic and traffic, right? Traffic, traffic and traffic, right? Correct? So so uh, pretty much, that's pretty much it.